In this video, we will solve another problem of interview preparation marathon and the topic was arrays. So this happened last week on Sunday, April 19. Okay. So basically in this interview marathon, every week there will be a topic from which questions will be coming. Obviously, they will be around getting you practice for the interview questions. Okay. So in case you have already participated, make sure you keep participating and make sure you see how the problem was solved. In case you haven't, make sure you solve past questions from here and start participating from year on okay so let's just go ahead in the arrays so we will be solving greater and least these two questions and rest of the questions we have solved in other video make sure you watch that as well so since this problem has moved to practice section let's just go to practice problem okay so now let's just first understand the problem statement we'll understand the problem statement then we'll try and come up with the logic and then write the code okay so let's just try and do that the problem says Prep buddy's youngest brother always demands more money than his elder brother. Being the eldest brother, Prep buddy asked his mother for M rupees in integer and using the digits of M, he created another integer N which is greater than M and the difference between M and N must be at least possible. Sorry, must be the least possible. Now Prep buddy wants you to help his mother in finding the integer N where N are the rupees in the integer for the elder and the youngest brother respectively if there is no any n possible then her mother has to give m rupees to both of his sons for example if m is 321 then n is also 321 okay so let's first see who is having n rupees and who is having m rupees and then we'll proceed ahead so uh being the eldest brother uh Prabhadi asked his mother for m rupees okay so m is for the elder brother and what we have to do is Using the digits of M, he created another integer N, which is greater than M. And the difference between M and N is, must be the least possible. Okay. So now what happens is that N go, M goes to the elder brother, N goes to the younger brother, since he wants more money. Okay. Now this is how it is. The thing is that N should be made by rearranging M only. And the difference between them should be the least. Okay. So this is what we have understood till now. And in case we cannot make a number greater than m using the same integers then we just have to simply print that number only okay now let's just see the input format and test cases so here the first line of the input contains integer t the number of test cases next t line of input contains an integer m so basically this is t this is m and this is m for each test case print n in the new line so this is n and this is n okay so let's just try to understand this so let's say for two three four five we have to find a greater element such that the difference between the them is least. Basically, the difference will be least only when what happens is that we find out the next greater element. So basically, element that, that is just greater than this particular element. And obviously, we are using the same set of integers. So that is going to be 2, 3, 5, 4. Okay, that is what is it going to be. So do we have any other option for number greater? Yes, we have 5, 2, 3, 4. 5 3 2 4 or we have 4 2 3 5 so all of these are greater but this is just the next greater element and hence the difference between them will be the least compared to all of these so this will be the answer which is here okay now let's see 8 5 7 3 4 8 5 7 3 4 so in this case what is going to be the next greater element it is going to be 8 7 8 5 7 4 3 okay this is how it is and this is something that we can just see and tell you know if you will be also writing the test cases and if you have to find the next rate relevant you will be able to come up with this this is something i haven't put any logic or something i just saw it and I, i'm like okay this is going to be the next element what are the elements other elements we can have it could be let's say eight three seven five four so if you see this particular element is less than this particular element okay so one obvious thing is that you get all the combinations you know the Brutus brute force is going to be that you get all the combinations of this particular number and see, uh, you know, and see which one is the next greater element. Okay, but that is going to take too much of time and effort as well. So this is what we did. So this is something that we can just see and tell. You know, this is based on human observation. So, but we also have to see that how we can come up with the logic. What is the logic working around it? Okay, but before that, make sure you have understood the question. You have to see the input. You have to give me the output, which is the next greater element. Okay. The time limit is T is 10 to the power 5. This is going to be 10 to the power 9. So make sure you take care of this while we are taking the input. Okay. So you, I want you to pause the video for some time. 
and make sure you have understood the question and make sure you solve this question on your own for some time and then we will see how you can do it so as you can see you know again here if you will see there is a i'll just give you a hint before i leave you guys off with this question is that we want the next greater element and obviously if we want the next greater element we would like to replace something from the back just try and understand we would like to replace the rightmost element okay we would like to replace the rightmost element why because if we replace the leftmost element there is no doubt let's say if it is 2 3 4 5 if we swap this let's say we put 2 3 5 4 we change anything here let's say we put 3 2 4 5 obviously this will be much more greater than this so the next greater element could be found by changing the rightmost element only it could be rightmost we have to see it it's not going to be the end element only but some element which is to the as right as maximum as possible okay so just think around it just think around it and try and solve the problem and then we'll try and see the logic so i hope you guys tried this problem on your own so let's just see some cases and then we'll try and come up with the logic because in this case what will happen is that we'll have different cases to take care of and we'll see those cases we we'll try and find a pattern and try to solve the problem so let's just take few cases so let's say we have uh, two three four five okay so let's say we have uh, one two three four okay we have five four three two we have uh, eight seven four five one then we have three seven six nine seven three two okay let's just see so in this case it's going to be two three five four in this case it's going to be one two four three okay in this case what is it going to be so as you can see in this case no matter what you do so let's say if it is five four three two you swap let's say anything any any swap that you will do you will not get the greater element you will get a small element only so in this case the output is going to be five four three two only okay now in this case it's going to be let's see so can we swap this one so we'll try and swap the as i said you know to we'll keep the swap as as right as possible can we swap these two no it will be a smaller element it will be one five okay so now can we swap just these two okay let's see if we make it eight seven five four one okay so this is one option eight seven five four one but what else what we can do is we can have eight seven five one four okay so this is also greater than this but this is the smaller element okay this is the smaller element so till, till now you know i was kind of thinking that i just see which is the smaller element which is you know in the in the sequence i just start from the back and i keep just checking that which previous element is less than its next element and i'll just swap them which i did in this particular case okay but uh, i see that this is not working what i did because this is there's a number which is smaller than this also so this is going to be 87514 which is smaller than this so this is what is going to be the output for this do i have any other option let's let's just play around these three numbers and see so it's going to be 87514 we have already typed 541 we have already tried anything else is going to give me a smaller element so i think this is my answer okay now let's see this one this is a big one okay so now in this case what is the option so can we do anything here no anything here no anything here no so just now here you saw that if the numbers are in descending order any swap that you do is not going to help so all of these are in descending order right any swap that you do will result in a smaller element from this particular corner okay let's go ahead so now we get a place where we can do a swap just like here okay we got a place i'll simply go from here to here i'll simply swap the we can simply swap these two okay let's just swap these two we get three seven nine six seven three two okay so this is what is greater but let's see let's see what is going to be the actual answer so i think the actual answer is something we can use in this as well so it's going to be three seven seven two three six nine so as you can see what i did was that i did three seven seven so this was supposed to be swapped right but when we swap this as you can see that this is giving me a comparatively bigger number but what i did was that you know rather than just putting swapping this number i found out which is the number which is just greater than this particular number in this particular area so i just found out which is the number as you can see here you know okay let's just put it this way rather than telling you the logic i'll just tell you the format that is coming out here okay so if you see this is the next greater element 
if you see this particular format what has happened is that so the next greater element that was there to 6 was 7 over here okay so what happened in this particular how these two elements are differing i'm just telling you so what happened over here was that this is something that we didn't touch at all okay this is something we didn't touch at all what i did i swapped these two okay i swapped these two so how my after this particular swapping how my array will look how my number will look it's going to be three seven seven nine six three two i just do the did the swap this particular swap which is there here okay so i got my first three okay now if you can see we can since i know that the moment i place seven here this particular number is already greater than this number. now we have to ensure that i minimize rest of the portion i minimize rest of the portion and how i can minimize rest of the portion i can minimize it by sorting from lowest to highest number so i simply did three seven seven two three six nine and this gives me the number okay so if you see for solving different kind of problems what are the steps we used okay what are the steps we used let's see so now let's try and follow these steps and try and convert the logic one common logic that could be applied to all the numbers so we saw that for different numbers we were, we were trying to do something else so let's just try and come up with a common logic okay so let's take the biggest number it will help us so let's say the number was three seven six nine seven three two so one thing we knew is that we have to start from the right because we want to keep the number to be changed as right as possible okay this is something we have discussed now let's say i start from right i find out which particular element which particular previous element is lesser than the next element so let's say i start from here i say this is lesser than this no i come this is lesser than this no i come here and this is lesser than this no i come here this is lesser than this okay so now I come here let's say this is my I was here let's say this was my i minus 1 and this was i okay so now I saw this now what I do is that I don't just simply swap them okay I check that if there is any element in this particular area okay anyways let's let's first consider that I'll be swapping this only let's just consider swap as right 9 9 right now okay so now what I'll do is I'm thinking it is going to be 9 let's just see if it will be 9 or not I'm not swapping I'm just storing 9 somewhere let's say okay so from here on, I'll see if there is any number that is greater than this. Okay, least number that is greater than this for that matter. Okay, it has to be least number that is greater than this. Okay, so in this case, let's say if there would have been 8 as well. Okay, there would have been 8 as well. I wouldn't have taken 8. I would take 7. Okay, because I want to keep my number maximum but to the least. So I'll take 7 because obviously if I put 7 also here, the number that will be formed will be greater. Right, and it will be having the least difference. So let's remove it for now so let's say i take 7 so i will see that from this which is the least number that is greater than which is the number having smallest value and is greater than this particular number i find out it's 7 so let's say i keep my swap as 7 okay so i simply swap 6 and 7 and what i do is that from here from i from place i till the end i simply do the sorting okay so my logic let's put it in steps first step is going to we are going to traverse from end of the array till we find a situation where a of i minus 1 is greater than a of i okay till we find the situation now what we will do is we will find smallest number greater than a of i minus 1 let's say Okay, so one more thing that must be coming in your mind is that this is a number here. I should have told that earlier that this is a number here and we are keeping array here. Okay, right. So what we will do is that since we are, this is a number here and we have to traverse through each and every digit, it will be really easy if we take input as a character array. So if we take this as character array, we can just go through each and every element as you can see here very easily. Okay, and another thing is that obviously you can use other things like you can use vectors or you maybe, you know, you can just... Uh, take the input and then convert it to array so there are different ways possible just to keep things simple and since we are just on array topic so you know when we are making questions out here then we assume that the student has just done logic building and is in array so we try and keep things from scratch okay so what we do is that we took the character array let's say okay we took the character array and that this is the character array we're talking about now what we have to do is we have to find the smallest number greater than a of i minus 1 in range a of i to let's say a of i a of n minus 1 okay let's say this is the n is the length of the character array okay 
So let's say this is what we do. Then what we do is we simply swap a of i minus 1 to let's say the swap element or the swap index with the element that is there at swap index. Okay. Now what we do is we simply sort a of i to a of n minus 1. So this is going to be my logic. Okay. And this is the step as well. So we first try and come up with the logic. Then we wrote the steps. Now let's just see the code. How it is going to be so we have already written the function we'll see the function run it and then we'll see if it is accepted okay okay so we have kept the find greater function here okay this is the function you call it method in java so we will just have the main function in which we will take input as the character array we will find the length of the array and then we will call this find greater function okay we will pass the character array and the size of the array or length of the array okay so this is where we are doing the step one that we saw Basically, the step one was to find an element such that previous element is greater than the next element. Okay, this is what we do here. Now, let's say there's a number called 4321. So, in this case, what will happen is that we will keep, we keep on doing this and we will eventually reach to the front of the array. So, in this case, I know that there is no such number possible. So, I simply, what we do is we simply print the same number and we just print the new line and we return. Okay, and make sure you put a break over here. Okay, make sure you put a break over here. Now, here what we are doing is that here x is equal to num of i minus 1 we have to find the next element that has to be exchanged and as I said right now let's say I am considering the element that has to be exchanged let's say if the number is 4, 5, 6, 7, 3, 2, 1 or let's make it 9 and this let's make it 7 okay. Now let's say here this is what is x okay and this is what is smallest right now okay this is what I am keeping right now. Now what I'll do is I'll just run a loop from here to here and find my smallest. Okay. So now let's say when I run this particular loop, this is what the loop is doing. I'm just making sure that the number should be greater than the this number. And we have to, this is ensuring that it is smallest of all the greater numbers. Okay. So once we do that, what we are going to do is we are simply going to swap. We swap the numbers and at the end what we do is we sort the numbers from this point to this point. This is what we do. So we swap 7 here, 6 here and then we do the sorting. This will give us the answer. So this is what the code is. So make sure you write this complete code on your own. So everything remains the same in whichever language you write the code. So here you can use the library functions or you can just implement the things on your own. It's up to you how you're using this. Okay. So let's just try and run this code and see if you are getting the right answer. So we have submitted the code. And you can see that the code is accepted. So make sure you try the code on your own and make sure you submit the code as well.